Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxanne. If it's your first time here, then welcome. Today I want to talk to you guys about the books that I want to read in the month of February. So as I'm sure everybody knows, February is Black History Month, so I want to focus on solely reading black authors that I have physically on my shelves and two that I'll probably take from the library. As you all may know, I have a goal to read at least one way and one middle grade book every month. And so for the month of February, I want to read <coughs> Pet by Kweke Mezi and Patina by Jason Reynolds, which I believe is the second in that ghost series. So Patina is middle grade, the middle grade sports um, series, and Pet I actually know absolutely nothing about. Um, but I have read... Uh, I believe it was the death of Vivek Oji and was so compelled by it. Um, I, I still to this day cannot properly tell you what I think about it. I think so many things about it and I think it's kind of one of those books that it lends itself really, really wonderfully to a lot of discussion. So I'm really curious to see what they will do with a uh, young adult. And also I believe there's a prequel to Pet that is coming out this year as well. Um, and from my shelves physically, I have um, I have a little bit of a, of a lot of things. I have some science fiction, I have some historical fiction, I have mystery, fantasy, and nonfiction. Historic nonfiction. So I'm very, very excited. Um, I have had this book for years and I have yet to read it and it is the color purple. I was going to say the color, the wall color, because I saw a walker. Anyways, the color purple by Alice Walker. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this would also be a... I'm not sure about Alice Walker's, uh, how they... Um, how they if I, they identified as uh, being queer, but I, I be, this novel I see a lot included in like queer black lists of books to read. Um, I will follow up on that before I upload this just to be sure, but I do believe that this might also be an LGBTQ read. Then I have the first in a series, in a mystery series, and that is Bluebird, Bluebird by Attica Locke. Um, I believe this is set in Texas, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, a black Texas ranger. And I have been wanting to read Attica Locke for a very, very long time. I absolutely love mystery. And so I'm very, very excited to get to this one. I don't really know anything about it except that it's about the f a black Texas ranger. I don't want to read anything else. <laughs> and then we have a book that has been, um, so often sort of referenced when talking about books that so capture the a lot of what we're going on th that what we're going through now and that is Parable of the Sower by uh, Octavia E. Butler and I believe this is the first this might be the first in a series I'm not sure I will um again confirm or deny that <laughs> in an editing but um again this is one that i i think it's set in 2020s california so we are officially in the 2020s so this i feel i tend to sort of stay away from things like this because they honestly just give me a lot of anxiety but i loved um the one book of octavia butler's that i have read thus far which was kindred and i really want to read more of their work so this is what I plan to read next. And then is a reread for me, but one that I want to give more attention to this time around and, and see how I feel about it. I enjoyed it my first time around, but I don't think as much as I thought that I would, as much as people, other people have. And um, I just, I don't know if the mindset that I was in didn't lend itself well to me reading this book so I want to just give it another try and just see what I think about it and that is another first in a series the fifth season by Ian K. Jemison and this is the Broken Earth uh, trilogy perhaps so yes this is about I think like natural occurrences like earthquakes and things like that I'm not really sure I don't I honestly don't remember so I I kind of I'm going into a reread as blind as I could because I honestly don't really remember much about it, but I am very excited to give this another go and see how I feel about it um, in my second time around. Then is a uh, 
is a nonfiction that I have wanted to read for a very long time, that it was a National Book Award winner, and that is Stamped from the Beginning by Ibram X. Kendi. I believe there is a young adult version of this as well. This is the adult version. It's quite chunky, um, which is why this this TBR is not terribly long, and that's because I do want to dedicate a lot of time to this one. It's pretty it's pretty chunky, like I said, and this one is also. Um, so yes, and then uh, <clears throat> I don't believe that I have access to an Alice to an. Uh, to a the color purple audiobook so I will probably read that um I will read that physically so that'll take me a little bit longer than had I the audiobook and so this is stamped from the beginning uh the definitive history of racist ideas in America so that pretty much explains what this book is is about and and tackles and it is widely regarded and I am so very excited to finally get to it and yeah so I'm very very excited for February to come around. It is quite unfortunate that it is the shortest month of the year to read so many important books but of course try to read black books all year round. Um, so let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought. Let me know what you will be reading in the month of February. As always thank you for watching and for listening. I love you all very much.